What's up, good people? Welcome back. I am reviewing all seven of Quentin Tarantino's movies in preparation for his brand new film coming out on January 8th, The Hateful Eight. And here we are two years after his directorial debut, and here I am reviewing Pulp Fiction, the behemoth of all Quentin Tarantino movies. Seriously, when I say behemoth, I mean behemoth. This movie is a cultural phenomenon. Just That's just the only way to put it. The way the Reservoir Dogs set up Pulp Fiction, Pulp Fiction as far as changing the industry, Pulp Fiction actually changed the industry. It knocked down doors, and it created an entirely new lane of how filmmaking can be approached. Of course, Quentin Tarantino directed and wrote this movie, but this film is known for so much. Not only is it known for its cast, but it's known for its pop culture references. It's known for the eclectic dialogue. It's known for the ironic sense of humor and violence that's kind of mixed and interchanged in between. It's known for the highly stylized look of the film. It's also known as being a postmodern film. What does postmodern even mean? Well, it basically means that this film bucked the system and just completely eradicated everything that had come before it and went about it in an entirely new way as far as how you approach storytelling. I mean, nothing about this movie was traditional at all. It took a completely unconventional approach to how it told the story, how it developed characters, and also the narrative arc. Just like Reservoir Dogs, this movie is told out of order. It's a non-linear story, so you have to watch every bit of it to really understand it and to get every little piece of it. Try to put a genre on Pulp Fiction, it's really hard. There really is no genre that it fits into because it crosses so many genres. Some might consider it a, a noir film, a black comedy film, but seriously, it crosses so many different genres and it does so much as far as the references that it has in the movie to use that as like an ironic tone to how movies were being made during that time. I mean, honestly, the best analogy that I can think of, you know, if, if, if traditional filmmaking had been 80s hair rock bands that wore lipstick and, and dresses and stuff like that, well then when Nirvana came around and completely bucked the system, that's what Pulp Fiction did for the movie industry. It completely bucked the system and created an entirely new generation of filmmakers who just took untraditional approaches to making film. The movie is also very self-reflexive. It kind of breaks the fourth wall in a sense. It doesn't follow the traditional mode of just, you know, script and, and dialogue as far as the exchange between characters. There's a lot of moments where you're like, hmm, this is very self-reflexive. They're actually taking time in the movie to reflect on certain things that, that are happening in society. Society. It's the format of the movie in general. I mean, there's a prologue, there's chapters to the to the film, and it just it's just completely unconventional. I mean, I really don't know how to explain it. I'm almost at a loss for words explaining how Pulp Fiction is because it's literally something that you have to see. But even watching it now, you can't get the full impact of the movie because when it came out, there was nothing like it before it. So you just have to imagine this film as being the first film to do a lot of the things that it actually did. But of course, you gotta talk about the cast. I mean, again, another star set of cast in a Quentin Tarantino movie. I mean, Uma Thurman in this movie is incredible. John Travolta is incredible. Tim Roth is in this movie again. Bruce Willis is in this movie. Ving Rhames and Samuel L. Jackson, probably Samuel L. Jackson's greatest performance. And that's saying a lot because that man has been in a lot of movies. I mean, come on, look at that cast. Like, And then Harvey Cotell too, he makes a cameo appearance. It's just incredibly star studded. Even some of the people who were younger when this movie was made, like they just grew to be legends in the movie industry this movie has just incredible talent laced all throughout the film and the the characters how they intersect towards the end of the movie the intersection of these different storylines because as we start out the story nobody really knows each other but all of these different story arcs end up coming together towards the end of the movie again you have to watch the entire thing in order to get it and it won't really have that aha moment until the very end of the film I mean honestly the movie just seems so alive it's it's indisputably great like you have have to understand the greatness of this movie. When you talk about some of the greatest films ever made, Pulp Fiction has to be on that list in any regard. I mean, Pulp Fiction permeated so many different avenues. It's such a phenomenon, and it's been so influential on so many things. I mean, when you talk about TV, movies, advertising, music, the way music is used in movies, just everything. It just permeated all of those things to just create this new revolution of filmmaking and filmmakers in the industry. Just like several films before it paved the way for a generation of filmmakers, I gotta say that Pulp Fiction done this, had done the same thing for the generation after. One of Tarantino's strongest, strongest abilities is his creation of characters. He has unique characters in every one of his movies, and they are some of the most quotable characters in film history, and this is probably my favorite element of not only Pulp Fiction, but of all of Quentin Tarantino's movies, the character development and his iconic characters that he's created. He's done it again in, in Pulp Fiction. He's done it in every movie since. 
This movie is just fantastic. I cannot verbalize it enough. Go read an article about it. Go read the thousands of articles that exist on the internet about its cultural impact and significance of why it's so highly regarded because they can probably verbalize it a lot better than I can right now. With all of that said, I'm just going to go ahead and give this score a perfect 10 out of 10 for Pulp Fiction. It's not necessarily my favorite Quentin Tarantino movie, but as far as the impact that it had on the movie industry, none of his other movies can even come close to touching it. Pulp Fiction is regarded by many, including myself, as a masterpiece. All right, folks, that's all I got from my review of Pulp Fiction. Go check out my other movie reviews from Quentin Tarantino. As always, go check me out on social media, JRW the Creator, on Twitter and Instagram, and then go check out my website, jordanrwilliams.com. I'll see y'all for the next review, Jackie Brown.